not bringing that huge suitcase on the plane. Oh, no, I really need to. My whole life is in here. How did you even get it through security? I don't think you're allowed to ask me that. <laughs> Fine. They were gonna turn me away, but then this couple got in a fight, so everyone ran to break it up, so I just <laughs> ran through with my suitcase, and that counts. I got through security, so you can't turn me away. Legally. That's not a thing. It is a thing. Well, it's not coming on the plane, and quite frankly, it's too late to even check it into baggage, so you can leave it here, and we'll just send it along tomorrow. No! I really need it with me. Well, then you can stay here with it. I'm not doing that. I have places to be. Then you can put everything that's important into this carry-on bag. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need like 12 of these. Will you get one? I can't fit everything in there. If you want to get on this plane, you can only be carrying this bag and your purse. This is ridiculous. Well, you have eight minutes to figure it out. I have to get to Chicago. I have a new job that starts in the morning. Then start repacking. OK, and when I repack and there's a bunch of stuff left over, what happens to that stuff? Put it in the suitcase. Maybe it'll get to Chicago tomorrow, possibly. Possibly? Or there's a garbage can right over there. OK, I am not throwing my life in the garbage can. Everything in the suitcase has enormous personal value. Can I speak to your supervisor? By the time she gets here, this plane will be gone. How do you sleep at night? Like a log. You have seven minutes. Okay, you aren't allowed to go making a mess. I'm sorting. I have to figure out what I can't live without. I can wear a bunch of stuff on the plane, right? That's allowed? Sure. As long as you can make it to the plane without tipping over. Yeah, the last lady who tried that sweat so bad, her B.O., well, let's just say they put her off the plane in Tennessee. Okay, I do not have B.O. She said the same thing. And she still wound up in Knoxville. Ooh, this is nice. <sighs> That's the dress I wore when Tom took me dancing for the first time. We looked amazing. He wouldn't let anyone cut in on us. He danced with me the whole night. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. No, it's not for sale. It's priceless. 30 bucks? This is not a garage sale. Ooh, how about this one? Oh. That's the one I wore when Tom took me to Paris. I wore it when we danced in the Eiffel Tower. You dance a lot. Hush. So, uh, Tom's your husband? Boyfriend. Former boyfriend. Oh, no. Did he die? <laughs> I wish. No. no, he, um, left me for this 20-year-old floozy. Then why are you saving the dresses? You're not allowed to talk to me. Why are you saving the dresses? Because they make me happy. Every single one is a happy memory. Oh, no. You need to move on. So all of these dresses are Tom? Oh, no, no, no. Um, that one is Bob. I wore it on the roller coaster where we kissed for the first time. Uh, the red one is Steve. We've got Adam, Marcus, Adam, <laughs> Larry, uh, Calvin, Doug, ooh, Sven. <laughs> Uh, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn? It was a phase. I'll give you 40 bucks for the Gwendolyn dress. No, no, my precious memories are not for sale. I'm gonna wear them all on the plane. <coughs> Mistake. <coughs> Shut up! Oh. oh. This is what I floated on on the best pool day of my life. I, uh, oh, I had the perfect bikini. It's in here somewhere. Oh, and I was with Todd, who was the best boyfriend. All Todd's are terrible. Right? Oh, no, 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 no. He was amazing. 
And the pool party was at Denzel Washington's house. It was Denzel Washington's pool. How cool is that? It's the Flamingo Denzel's? No, it's Todd's. Oh, and did Todd die? No. So... Didn't work out. Lose it. Get rid of the flamingo. No. Well, at least let some air out so it doesn't take no! a No! Tom blew this up. His own mouth. Sometimes it let a little bit out. Oh, it smells like him. So nobody else can put their air in it because their air might mix with his air? Yes. I think she needs an intervention. Can you put on some calming music? Yes. There is nothing wrong with me, okay? I'm perfect. Everything in this bag is me when I was perfect. Why can't people see that? Why do they keep leaving? This was the last meatloaf my mother made for me. Did she die? No. She's in Florida. Somewhere. But she left. Recently? Twelve years ago. Okay! Ew! Oh, no, 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 no! My mother's meatloaf is special. She only makes it for special people. Here, smell. No, that's okay. <laughs> Leave it shut. Oh. Oh. This reminds me of my dad. I don't know if he's dead or where he is, but he liked the bowl. <laughs> oh, uh, was this his bowl? No, I stole it from a bowling alley. But it represents all the times we would have went bowling together. It would have been awesome. They have bowling balls in Chicago. It's not the same thing. Uh, oh, <laughs> this belonged to my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This belonged to my sister? These belong to my high school lab partner. We would have gotten an A. But there were tragic misunderstandings. This belonged to my dog, Buster. But he ran away. But when we played together, it was awesome. This toaster is from the best job I ever had. Oh, I love that job. But they went out of business. They told us we could have whatever we wanted because we weren't gonna get a last paycheck, so I took the toaster. <laughs> Just looking at it. The memories. Don't you understand? So the job died? Yes. Yes, I guess it did. The job died. Perfect. I need you to grieve. What? Uh, for the job. Uh, for all the lost moments with your family. Uh, for all the men who didn't appreciate you. For your lab partner. What are you doing? I need to hug you while you cry. No. Bring it in. Mm, very. <laughs> it's so good. Let it, let it go. <laughs> There's nothing like a good cry. Release it all. Sometimes we have to be there for each other. Absolutely. So, does this mean I could bring my suitcase on the plane? Absolutely not. Come on! Look at this stuff. Look at it. When was the last time you wore any of these dresses, or used this toaster, or played with that bowling ball? You don't, right? Look, 
take this bag and fill it with everything you actually need. Clothes you're really going to wear. I really hope you have some underwear in here. I do. Perfect. Fill the bag, walk away, don't look back, and get on the plane and on to your new life. Uh, it's important. One bag. Well, she is going to be so much happier. She really is. Oh, look at all this stuff. Such wretched excess. I called dibs on all the dresses. I have the dresses. You can have the toaster. Well, I want the flamingo. The flamingo's mine. Pick everything up, and then we can divide it in the break room. 